In the project view of the TIA portal, open the screen you wish to edit. From the toolbox, drag and drop I.O. field elements onto the screen as required for the application. Now, in this example, we will add buttons to provide the required control. To complete the requirements, we will insert a circle that we will animate to behave as an indicator light. and configure the elements to display the correct values. Highlight the first element to set it up as an output field for the count value. And select the Properties tab. Start by setting up the process tag you wish to output. And then designate the function the I.O. box needs to perform. The other I.O. field will be configured as an input-output field for the preset value. Next, we will configure the buttons we inserted to control the countdown and reset count operations. First, double-click and rename the button elements. Now we will configure the buttons to control the operation. Select the first button labeled Countdown. And in the Properties view, click the Events tab. Click the Press selection. And define the function to be carried out when the button is pressed. In this example, it will set a bit. We must define the bit tag to be set from the tag tables. We must also define the function for when the button is released. In this case, the bit assigned for the press operation must be reset to allow the button to act as a simple push button. We will now configure the second button to reset the count value. Configuration is carried out in the same manner as the countdown button.
Select the circle image to configure an animation. Click the Animations tab. Expand the selections. And double click the Add New Animation selection. Select Appearance. And click OK. To find the tag to trigger the animation, count reached in this example. Now we will set up the appearance change desired. and set the element to flash when the value is reached. The configuration is complete. Let's test the operation by selecting the highest level HMI element in the project tree and clicking the simulation icon from the main menu. The WinCC runtime window opens. The count screen opens. Note that the count reached indicator is flashing black and red and that the count value and preset value I.O. boxes are showing values. We will click the reset count button. And note that the count reached indicator goes dark and both count indicators are now reading the same. We click the countdown button and the count value indicator shows the count decreasing. When the count reaches zero, the indicator changes state. Now let's check the input function of the preset value I.O. field. Click in the field. An on-screen keypad appears. Click the new value. And click enter to complete the action. The new preset value shows in the output field. Click reset count. The new value is written to the count value output field. The new elements have been inserted, configured, and tested.